What's going on everyone? Bo here. I make videos and put them on YouTube. And today we have more between the Barry and me, the coma machine. This is a suggestion by Hating Me is Conforming. Never heard this song. We've listened to a couple of between the Barry and me songs on this channel and I quite enjoyed them. It looks like a lot of you agree that this is a song that you hold to high accolades, so I'm excited to get into this. This is just the still image of the single or the album, uh, just to protect us from having the video yanked down by maybe like a big label or anything like that. Uh, before we get into this, if you want to help me out, hit that subscribe button and like button. Equip yourselves with earbuds. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs>
Hands down, my favorite Between the Buried and Me song that I've been shown thus far from you guys and gals. Uh, I'll say it right out of the gates. I enjoyed every second of this. There was not a dull moment in this. I know I don't know their entire catalog, and I'm eager to hear more, but from what I've been shown from the Alaska album and this, what I can tell you is that my ears perceive a more matured Between the Berry and Me. They have discovered a more uh, structured approach to their songwriting. They follow more of a formula, which is what I prefer in progressive music. Uh, I've said it till I'm blue in the face. You're probably tired of me saying it, but a lot of these bands will put numerous ideas together and say, boom, progressive, right? Wrong. It just doesn't work like that. And uh, the reason being is because you just, it sounds like a mess, right? That may work for some songs that may serve a purpose to some songs out there, uh, provided that they're seeking chaos. But uh, this is what personally my, my taste buds enjoy, you know? Uh, I need that theme. I need something to kind of tie all the loose ends together and just... Uh, make a song, you know, not have uh, recorded ideas thrown together. This show me that. We could talk all day about the uh, the Octavarium reference that I kind of thought of, and I think it was because they were chugging away at this root chord and moving between major and minor, uh, what would you call it, intervals. It was kind of an up and down chromatic thing that was happening. It reminded me of, of a moment in Octavarium. Uh, you musicians out there can kind of correct me on the theory. I don't know what that's called, but I heard that. We can talk about the Tom York and Radiohead that I heard in there, the uh, Freddie Mercury and Queen and the harmonies and vocals. But at the end of the day, all the glory goes to uh, the guys at Between the Berry and Me. Uh, this is a side of them that I love and prefer. I love hearing the harmonies and Tommy Giles singing clear and uh, clean in his vocals. He enunciates well. He's He has that clarity that a lot of uh, other vocalists will co cover up with uh, delays and reverbs and he just uh, projects out there and he, he knows that he's that damn good, that he doesn't have anything to hide or mask with vocal effects. Uh, I just love this. Thank you very much. And uh, you guys know the drill. You know what to do in the comment box below. And we will see you next time. Let me know what you thought of this song. <sighs> I need to take a breather. I think I need to go cry for like four hours straight. Wow. Bye, guys.